In this video, I'll give an overview of how to build your inbound concierge router. You will start with trigger setup. You can trigger concierge when a customer submits a form on your website, when they click a router link, or you can trigger concierge in your web application. In this video, we'll set up the web form trigger. Grab the link with where your form is and add it to the auto mapping window. We'll try to map your form fields we've identified to existing data fields. If no relevant data field exists, create a new one. Now you can use them to create routing rules on your form values. Next, add your routing rule to route your prospect to the appropriate sales rep. We recommend routing to Salesforce owner first if you use Salesforce. When you've set up your rule, add a meeting type and additional guests, like Solution Engineer. If you make them required, Chili Piper will take into the account their availability when displaying the calendar to your prospects. Next, make sure you set up redirects after the meeting was scheduled or not. This could be a thank you page with next steps, or in case the meeting was not scheduled, you can just keep the prospect on the form. You have the option to set up CRM actions after meeting was scheduled or not, such as update or create record with form values submitted by the prospect. Create event when meeting was booked and relate this event to other objects in Salesforce. Add the prospect to campaign to track your success metrics. And if the meeting was not scheduled, you can notify your rep so that they can follow up with the prospect and try to book a meeting. Now let's set up another route by adding a routing rule path. If the prospect is not owned or doesn't exist in Salesforce, we want to route them based on the company size. Then you can route them to a rep via a round robin distribution. In a round robin distribution, you have the option of strict or flexible round robin. You can see all your reps and who is next to receive a meeting, who is on vacation at the moment. And you can also adjust their weights, credit, and skip meetings. Next, add a meeting type set up your redirects and CRM actions. Before you finish your router, make sure you add a catch-all path to account for prospects that don't match any of these rules. You can simply redirect them to a thank you page or route them to an SDR calendar. Now you can customize the look and feel of your router, add, copy, and change main colors. Once you're ready, publish the router, copy the embed code, and add it on the landing page with your form.